Hello and welcome to episode 7 of this Essential IELTS Listening Vocabulary Series. So the format of this series is that we have two sets of five exercises. You will hear me read a sentence and you need to write down the missing word. Of course, trying to spell it correctly. So get a pen and a piece of paper and when you're ready, we'll get started. Write down the missing words. Number one. The students gave negative feedback about the lecture. Number two. Which preposition should I use after the word cope? Number three. His former secretary resigned after only two months. Number four. She loves browsing through second-hand record stores. Number five. Has the domestic water supply been impacted? So here are the correct answers. If you need some time, pause the video so that you can check them really carefully. Notice any mistakes that you made and make sure that you make a note of the correct answer as well. And when you're ready, we'll move on. Number six. Did the postal worker leave a package for me? Number seven. I need to gather more information before I write my essay. Number eight. It's normal not to make any profit during the first year. Number nine. I need to buy a souvenir for my auntie. And number 10. Their business has become really successful recently. Here are the correct answers. And as before, it's worth taking some time to check them really thoroughly. Notice if you made any mistakes. Write down the correct answers. And then look back across all 10 to see if there's any pattern to the mistakes that you're making. My top tip for today is to listen really carefully for the word endings. Even if you think you caught the right word and the context feels okay, just double check the ending is what you expected um, or not. Because, for example, in number six today, the word we were looking for was package, but the similar word packet could fit in this context. So you need to listen really carefully for the correct word ending. So I hope you found that useful. If you did, go ahead and hit like to support the channel. And if you're looking for other ways to practice ready for your exam, then go and take a look at my other IELTS playlists. Thanks for watching and have a lovely day.